What's up, my people? Bless upon yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe. And after you subscribe, click the top bell icon so you can get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So we are go over in a Portmore St. Catherine people where a man get can up and drop out. See, relative of a man who was murdered by a gunman in Three North Greater Portmore St. Catherine are now burdened with having to shift their plans from having a joyous and festive Xmas this year to making funeral arrangements. The deceased is Orion Fraser of a sundown crescent address in Greater Portmore. Our news team understand that on Tuesday night, Fraser was painting and carrying out decorative activities inside his house in preparation for the Xmas day. When he decided to venture outside to a nearby shop, it was at this shop that gunmen decide Fraser fate, shocking his relatives and the community. His relatives and the residents of Tree North are said to be currently trying to figure out the puzzle of who could seek to murder such a quiet and well-loved individual. According to a relative of the deceased who referred to him as Scrappy, I don't know how to explain my feeling. It is like feeling of worry. I am just left to wonder because if men can walk, come in a your scene and walk up to you in a crowd of people and go specifically to you and shoot you up and run off just as you step out of your yard. That looks a way. When him get shot up and dead, people are say them no know him as that person for somebody to walk up and do something like that. They are wondering if he had any issue with someone and didn't tell his friends. He didn't have any children of his own, but he has four stepchildren. He is close to three of them, the residents share, noting that he was concerned about the mother of the deceased. He added that the mother of the deceased now has to cancel the cele big celebration she had planned for the Xmas. According to the relative, dinner is still planned, but activities will be drastically scaled down. She called her son and asked him to collect a ham for her. She was planning a big family thing for Xmas with everybody. She even told her son to get a suit of clothes for her so she could surprise her spouse for Xmas the relative shared. Meanwhile, the spouse of the deceased was emotional while speaking to her news team. The feeling is terrible. You can hear it in my voice. I don't sleep throughout the night. When it happened, I was at home washing out some curtain. My daughter-in-law came and said something went on over the shop we were here and she ran out and came back and said it was him i lock off the washing machine and i started to scream out and got nervous it is bad he was well loved he was a nice and quiet person who didn't talk much in the meantime senior superintendent of police in charge of saint catherine south phillips confirmed that a murder took place Tuesday night but said he was unable to provide details at this time. Jano Star. You see me people, you have to be careful out there, you know what I mean? I don't know where this man involved in or why them kill him, RIP to him and condolences to his family. So people, we are go over in a Hanover you know, where them kill a bursa, Zane and a principal get injured. Boy, may I tell you, my people, so I go put up in picture, in picture already up on the thumbnail, I put in picture right here, so. So, boy, my people, them said the principal get injured and him get killed. Bursa kill at school. John no star. The man him go up on the school compound, go kill the man. Alright. Rock by the death of their bursa. The staff of Opel High School in Hanover will remain at home today while the board of management plans to host an emergency meeting to enhance security at the educational institution. Jaja. The school was plunging to morning on Wednesday afternoon due to the unexpected murder of Mr. Roberts who had been managing the school's finance for the past six years. Mr. Roberts' death bring the number of persons killed in Hanover, a parish under the SOE, to 
to no sir i must more than this three maybe for this week the enhanced security measure and tomorrow two weeks after the government announced the soe for anova saint catherine clarendon and saint james brian grant the school's principal who was on the school compound when the incident occurred was seriously injured when he ran into broken glasses shattered during the shooting and has been admitted to the hospital according to reports robert was attacked by a lone gunman who approached his car and fired shot killing him on the spot the incident has left teachers and auxiliary workers at the school traumatized and in need of counseling, said Dalton Hastings, chairman of the board of management, who expressed being still in a shock, still in shock as he explained the situation. Hastings described the incident as troubling and scary, expressing concern that criminal elements no longer have any regard for the school environment for someone to come on the school compound to carry out a shooting is beyond me he sighed acknowledging that as a country the high crime rate is something that citizens particularly school are grappling with he said an emergency meeting of the board has been called for today i don't know what happened why mr robert was shot but we will have to beef up security he added the school board chairman said Roberts was a jovial, hard-working and approachable individual, well respected in his field. He had a good report with his team. Robert resided in Pitford, St. James, but was originally from St. Thomas. Efforts to get a comment at the time from the superintendent in charge of ANOVA, Ian Mowat, did not materialize when our news team called him. He said he was in the middle of the investigation and would make a statement today anova has had 69 murders since the start of the year jaja all heap that my people so you know, make me know what you think in the comment section r.i.p to this man you know what i mean me don't know why them kill him condolences to his family jaja so in other article here them say the principal must run through some broken glasses but me see an next article where them say is like the principal chuck to a window. You see me? Chuck to a glass window. So uh, that's why him get injured uh, in a hospital right now. You see me? So speedy recovery to the principal. John Star. And the police them say them have like CCTV camera in at the school. So them have a little thing for work with but them still ask anybody with any information you know what i mean to contact them and help them with the investigation you see me so r.i.p to this man again condolences to his family electrician charged with murder ricardo mckenzie an electrician of shoeberry district petersfield in Westmoreland has been arrested and charged with the murder of a man and the wounding of another following an incident on December 7. The deceased has been identified as Rico Terrington, a bike taxi driver in the parish. Reports from the Savalamar police are that about 9 p.m. Terrington and another man were traveling on a motorcycle when on reaching a section of the roadway, Mackenzie opened gunfire at them. The men ran but were later found with multiple gunshot wounds to their upper bodies. They were taken to hospital where Torrington was pronounced dead and the other man treated and released. On December 13, Mackenzie was arrested in his community and later charged with murder, wounding with intent, unauthorized possession of a prohibited weapon and using a firearm to commit a felony following an interview. So people... Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like and also subscribe and click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel.